Yo, what's up, guys? World Expo back here, and today we tired as fuck, boys. That's right, your boy is dead, basically. Um, yeah, my brain is super fried, so be prepared for misplaced of the motherfucking century. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, without further ado, I guess let's just hop right into the first game, right, guys? I'll see y'all there. All right. Well, no Ferrati should be able to tell us what deck we're playing against. But in any of the matchups, Armor Vendor is such a shitty card. Cards we're looking for, if it's Raza, or Finley, uh, Drizzle Wizard, it's Raza. Okay. Which means Finley and Drizzle Wizard are insane. We slam this on two. Highest likelihood of burning either Raza or Anduin. Either of those burns are insane. Let's let's go for it. Look, look. He can see it as soon as he burns Raza here. Not Raza. I got griefed by the game. Game fucked me. Um I believe the right play here is Zephyrus. Okay, that's good. That's good. I don't want this to be a thing. Um That is just way too much, like, pressure, because I can't kill it here easily without, like, say, burning this. Maybe burning this was better, but I still didn't want him to get, like, another heal, and that would have removed everything off my board, basically. We have one piece. We just need the other piece now, and we win. Oh! He is upset, and he doesn't even know what hit him yet. This time, this time I won't fuck up the Grizzle Wizard combo. Um, we're actually just looking for like the good cards in our deck. Tick, uh, Rustwick, Void Caller, uh, Ence Demons, even like Librarian, Rat. Ran is not one of those cards we were looking for. Oh, that's a heal. That is, in fact, a heal. We're actually also looking for Tick with this hand. Because we can always play this on Curve. And then we're ahead. That's fine. Yeah, so I like being able to just slam this on Curve. And then be able to slam Tick the turn after. Or I wanted. Um... I'm gonna slam this, but that's bad. I wanna s The thing was, if I drew tick, if I draw tick here, I can slam this on curve, especially if he plays minions, right? Slam this, I wipe his board. Oh my god. Funny enough, raise that can actually be such a huge card here. I was about to say, if I drew tick. I would just slam this next turn tick brand or brand tick burning 10 cards burning his raza and then or he can see already as it is i mean as soon as he drops anduin he most likely played anduin first here is my guess if i was him i would have actually even possibly played anduin here uh like one turn early just so to pop this and then you could have hit this and been ahead on board type shit but it seems like he's kind of trying to set up. I don't know what he's really trying to set up here, but he's trying to set something up. I don't like it. Ooh. That means I'm safe to slum this here. This is super safe here. I like that. Heal 15. He doesn't have spawn. He mostly is slamming Raza here. Or Anduin. Let me just do this. Let me do this and I'm pretty sure he concedes. Good card. Block first. Oh, 
replace it. I guess this is fine. This is fine. If he screams this, he screams this. I get a second copy of this, which I'm fine with. Uh, I get another Reno, which I'm also fine with. Um, that's fine. I could even not even theoretically kill this. Arguably best case scenario. Uh, I want to slam this just so this is active and I can burn the rest of his deck next turn. He should know I'm holding tick now. And he's most likely, if he has a Lucia, he's slamming a Lucia here. Okay, well, he doesn't have a deck anymore. He quite literally just doesn't have a deck anymore. He is upsetty. He is upset. If I slam, I can slam almost anything in my deck next turn and he will concede. If he doesn't just concede here. Pen cards that kill me, two of them are one ones. One of them is a spell. Two of them are pen flingers, that's all we know. We assume there's a psychic scream, there's a mass hysteria. Um but the hysteria. Yep. Unlucky. If that would have hit the uh, four four right away. We were super super ahead. I'm actually, I'm. Uh, I think this is just the play. This into Zeph into Tyrion. The reason I think this is just the play is because we still have Nazoth, and this puts him on a super fast clock. Takes three here. So a 5 3 weapon is an insane clock for him. Yeah, I don't think he beats that. The other play we had, which was just uh, slam the Rustwick, which eventually would have given us more cards. Uh, already he would die before we hit fatigue. So we didn't even need Rustwick there. It's just something that would have been just nice to have type thing. Anyways, um. Yeah, let's just go to the next game. Alright, guys, I'll see y'all there. Well, Rogue, I think anybody who's watched me for any amount of time knows I hate the fucking Rogue class and knows I think that it's probably the most awful. Yeah, I'd go with awful class ever created. I'd rather play against a lot of decks than fucking ever queue into another Rogue player. I just think things like this is super not fun and super not cool and super fucking lame. The fact that the same deck that gets to play a 15-3 weapon gets to play sap is really dumb. The reason that there's one card to counter this entire deck in the game and it's 5 mana and it's an aggro deck that will kill you before turn 5 is dumb. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a kid stuck in diamond. Okay, that's good though. I mean, that's good if we don't just die here randomly, right? I wouldn't put it past the fucking King's Bane play to just have me dead on turn three at 26. Is four damage on board him at 22? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> but it's still like. I mean, if he has prep tinkers into the two attack one, I'm like fucked. I would be like basically dead at that point. Yeah, that's actually insane. As soon as he gets his weapon, like, huge, like, back, right? He kills it, he hits me in the face. And then he slams whatever. Um. Yeah, so, like, double poison here is, like, 
There's no reason poison has to be a card, in my opinion. It's not fun, it's not interactive. Next turn, he most likely hits me, plays weapon again. Low fetches and goes to place weapon again. If he doesn't, what's good here is that I can do Brian Zephyrus, which will always get me two oozes, which is huge. I have this trade as well. That's a shiny finder or something that gets him Kingsbane back. Yep. But he slams the Kingsbane. I do this. Well, I'm actually just playing this here. Putting that in there. I've had. Two minions die now, so this hits Void Caller uh, Librarian here. I want to trade this in here. Hit both of them. I actually, hit both of them. That's actually insane. Secret Passage with two mana. There's like three cards. Actually, he probably can play all these cards. That double cutting class. Uh, poison or double cutting class that iron balance card if you ask me and even play this I love this game I love the fact that this weapon's allowed to be in the game makes a lot of sense if you ask me I generally don't know what to do against this. Like, even playing weapon removal most of the time doesn't even help. Like, as you saw there, he has so many ways to get that card for free. It actually doesn't even help. I can't even play this skip back ooze. Like, if I play that, I just die, right? Zephyrus Ooze? Red Ooze, okay. I'm fine with Dirty Red Ooze. He has one more way to get back that card in his entire deck. It doesn't change the fact that it has a million power. Why is this weapon allowed to have 11 attack? He conceded? Okay. I uh, don't normally know Kingsbane players to be the type of players to concede, but they don't really just punch me in the face the next two turns and I'm just dead. I guess he might have thought I had Zola, or if I had Zola, he just lost the game there. It's definitely possible, because Zola, I had Zola Reno there, and then slam any top minion, and he's fucked. That deck typically only plays one sap, so already he'd have to draw to his weapon, and then break through my 5-7. And then punch me two times without me drawing another taunt. Maybe that's why. If I had ooze, he'd be super far behind. But I don't know. I don't think I would have considered there if I was him. Anyways, with that being said, next game. Jesus Christ, another Kingsbane or Odd Row? Two in a row? That's just not fun. Ugh. People said I'd be facing more Raza Priest the more I climbed. I faced one Raza Priest. And Kingsbane again. Fuck me, man. Kingsbane or Mill. And if he just emoted, that most likely means he topped at Kingsbane for turn. Or Shiny Finder, or some other dumb shit. I don't see why Rogue actually has so much card draw. I think they're one of the classes that doesn't need the card draw. They just have so much fucking gas in that class. Like, in the same set, they got like fucking 15 different pieces of card draw. Give him a dead card. I gave myself two dead cards. Oh, well, it's not... Like I thought it was.
miracle? Some form of miracle? Um. I'll play here. Oh, it's Mel. That's actually such a good burn. It does mean I need to cut down on the cards in hand. And it does mean Finley's getting Hunter Hero Power here. I'm Sonic Finley right now type shit. Ah, I kind of need to save it though. Unless it's like Mechathune? Could be Mechathune. Because Mill doesn't typically play this much card draw. Interesting. I would have loved not to draw 50 mana worth of the cards in my last four draws. I don't know what to do here. And that cold light means I want to take this to just pressure him down as hard as possible. He's drawn five more cards than I have this game. Four more cards than I have this game. So I can't I can't beat him by drawing is what I'm trying to say. Pick would be an insane draw here, actually. I need to draw like Tick plus Godfrey. And have Godfrey into Tick. That would be super far ahead. But even burning like 8 cards would be fine. If it is Mill, he'll eventually put a whole bunch of fucking Cold Lights in his deck. And then Tick that, just removing all of them. Just once in the game. If I'm not dead at that point, obviously. I don't even know what the fuck his deck is supposed to be. All he's played is card draw, so I'm feeling like it's a miracle or it's, you know, Mechathune or something like that. I don't feel like it's Mill, weirdly enough. I mean, if he gets Cold Light, he just slams Cold Light here. Why is he drawing so many cards? And cards in hand. There's Tick. That's part of the plan done. Just need Godfrey now on curve. At this point, I don't even need a brand with Tick to build, burn his rest of his deck. I presume he has one combo card. I just need to hit that with this or with Dirty Rat. Does Rogue, does Mechathune Rogue even work? Or is this just Mally? If it's Mally though, I feel like he keeps Shiv. No, so you can just go Eviscerate, Eviscerate. That, that, right? If he has achievement of Mally, or if he has enough. He threw away prep and he threw away a coin. Which means max he has is one, two, or three Eviscerate. Okay, I guess he could still theoretically kill me in one turn. Because Eviscerate, Eviscerate is 18 plus 3 plus 5 is 26 damage burst. I need 7 drop. Uh, so I need exactly Godfrey here. No matter what, if I drew Godfrey, I'd slam it. This is problematic. Well, that's good for me. This is game. I generally don't even know what the fuck I'm playing against. It's very weird. I burned the last five cards of his deck. As long as whatever combo piece is not within the last five cards of his deck, we're chilling. Okay, never mind. So it is Mill. With an insane amount of card draw. This is deck win. So confused. I'm actually confused. What the fuck? 
This was such a bad card for him to draw though for me. Because I'm only burning three. Let's see if he doesn't draw the rest of the next turn. In which case I just need to hope not to burn Dirty Rat. I do saw Melganis the next turn. Instead of Void Caller or Void Lord. Weaker to Sap. Actually they're both equally as weak to Sap. But Melganis at least kind of prevents Malagos from just OTKing me. Because he has to spend 9 damage killing it. He's drawing actually the rest of his deck next turn. Super unfortunate I didn't draw Godfrey. Or like Enhanced Shredlord on Curve. If I would have slammed Enhanced Shredlord, I could have done this this turn. He had no more cards in hand. If he doesn't slam his cold light here that he bounced, I mean, I guess I get to still burn the last card of his deck with tick. I still don't even know what the fuck his game, I mean, I'm gonna be surprised at whatever the fuck he kills me with. See, he had a kind of like uninterrupted game. This. So it's Mecha soon. Don't know. Mecha soon, but I don't know how he kills me here. How the fuck he get rid of all those cards in his hand and then wipes the board? But I don't understand. That's the only reason to be playing that card is Mecha soon, right? That's a cool combo. That's a really cool combo. Although if I was him, I would probably try to find room for one copy of... Uh... Like, I'd cut, like, counterfeit coin or something for a copy of Hemet. Because you can slam Hemet on 6, right? As long as you're holding the broomstick and you're chilling. Well, that's the first time I've ever played against Mechathene Rogue. Actually seems kind of legit, not going to lie. Uh, anyways, uh, it's time to demote back down to Diamond Force, so let's queue up that demotion game. Secret Mage is my guess, but uh, yeah, let's queue it up. Hey, I was right. <laughs> I love being right into what I queue into. Yeah, I'm dead card in the aggro matchup. I mull it now, and then I'm gonna regret it as soon as I see if like it's Highlander Mage or something, where Tick is like actually brain dead. Ooh, Hysteria is actually fairly good. Hysteria can make like a four three trade into like his entire board type shit, or a four four trade into his entire board, or five five. That's like actually insane. Like if his curve is like two one, four three four or five five. Is there on the 5-5 five five actually just wipes the board, which is really, really good. That's a fairly good draw as long as I draw, like, Void Lord or Enhanced Dread Lord. Even Mulganus, I guess, but Mulganus is, obvious, it's like, the worst one to draw. Depending on what he plays here, I might just slump Zephyrus. Let me save Zeph. Or... I saw this here. Really, you don't even offer me flare. Interesting. No secret for you. If you trade that in here, I have race dead to get back Zephyrus. The right play here is tap race dead. 
Zephyrus is just such an important card. I'm perfectly fine with Zephyrus eating a counterspell and a lackey. Like, actually really good for me. And if he doesn't have another secret in hand, it could just delay his entire curve so hard. Like, I have this. Hopefully I draw, like, Dreadlord or Voidlord here. Those are, like, the best two draws of my deck. Second would be Malganus. Reno's really strong, but not what I was looking for. The reason the other ones were just so strong is because this can, like, he mostly be fireballs this, and if I don't have a demon, it's, like, super dead. But if I had something like an Enhanced Dreadlord right now, he, like, that's what he has to think about. Do I slam this without a demon in hand? The answer is no. Most of the time. The thing is, I just needed a minion on curve here. Is that a cultist? What do you say is the best card here? He got double counterspell as his only two secrets he's played this game. I actually feel like I got fucking griefed. And I'd even draw a demon. If I would have drawn a demon, I would have been fine with that. But the fact that he drew the best two secrets in his deck against me this early on just means I lose the game. Maybe not if he doesn't hit here. He goes face with everything. I do have Reno this turn. Fireball? Thank god. I guess I'm Reno. And be even more ahead. I was really hoping that was a demon. Any demon would have been fine there. I'd have even taken tick. If I'm being honest. I would have 100% taken Tick there. Like, just a demon so this way this summons actually something. And I don't just completely lose out on tempo. Uh, right play here. That's super greedy. Because if I do have a demon in hand, he's super behind on board now. But he should have saw... He probably figured that... That attack, instead of hitting the 2-3 and keeping the Zephyrus alive, meant I didn't have one. At least that's what the conclusion I would have come to is. Oh, we know that can't be... Why, game? See how unlucky we get here. Okay with that, I'll take three here to get a five cost spell. Uh, heal four? The res two is huge because I can get back void color. Looks like you can't deal four to face here to prevent um break games. But right now he has one fireball, two uh cloud princes left. That's kind of like the only scary threats he has left. The one who he plays, I just found this here. Or else it's just hold off until Void Lord. The other thing is he has to be worried about playing smaller minions here. Because they're just free trades for my things. And he's running out of cards as well. Like it's kind of hard for the deck to come back when it's super far behind on board. And right now it's super behind. It's super hard behind on board. Unless he just floods the board here. If he floods the board, I mean, it's kind of fine. Here, it's hit, hit. Again, we don't want it to have cards. Cards here. Ooh, so that means that's... Explosive Ruins Flame Ward, is my guess. Deal for We know he doesn't have any more counter spells. That's rigged. I punch him, I punch him in the face here. Play more triggers for free, basically. He's taking explosive ruins. 
What the fuck is it then? Another one? It has to be another one portal then. Which means I want to play another spell before I play this Kazaka special. That's fine. Uh, right now I'm still got the free punch here. If he doesn't slam it out of secret, I mean this is super safe to play. Sucks that he got a 4 4. Because he gets a super good trade into either of these. Army just goes face him at 15. I'm slamming Ghoul down here almost every single time. No matter what I have on board. Um, I just slam Ghoul down here just because it's a huge power spike in my hero power. My hero power will have slowly allow me to out heal uh, Cloud Prince and Fireball. I want to stay kind of above 15 health. Which is why I don't like this health load right now because I'm dead to. A lot of stuff and this is just putting me at a kind of comfortable health total i think i trade here first because it also doesn't trigger a secret which is nice this i think this might actually be block that's a block that's kind of awkward for me serve hi Body full in blood. Shadows. So we know he has a cloud prince left. I was really hoping to be able to pop this secret. Really, really hoping for it. Um just so this way I, he doesn't have an active cloud prince. Where you can't go cloud prince, Medis Valet, Medis Valet. Which is one off killing me. Surprisingly enough. If he does three damage to me a turn, that's fine. He is now way off killing me. Because I have Bite. But I'm a Lethal. My guess is he has Ice Block, so... Wanna do this order? He has an Ice Block. The very interesting secret I personally find to run in Secret Mage, seeing that you're an aggro deck. But, uh, yeah. Jesus Christ, I did not think we were gonna win that one whatsoever. By the way, I know I forgot to say it. But I hope you guys had a drink for this video. I forgot to say because I didn't have a drink and I just noticed that now. Just noticed now that I did not have a drink. So depressing. But hey, we went up two games today, I think. Right? Yeah, we're up two. That's insane. We're normally only ever up one. But we just went up two. It's insane. Popped off. Um, and the one, the, okay, the one game we lost, I'm perfectly, oh Jesus Christ, I'm perfectly fine with losing because it wasn't a meta rogue deck. Also, we're almost at thousand wins with Warlock. I just, we're a hundred away. It's also cool because we're also sub a hundred away from here. Here, I mean, we're slowly getting there. These other classes I clearly don't play. Here, it's our next closest one. We're 139 wins away. You know what? Maybe by the end of the year, we'll actually have uh, Thousand Wins here, Golden here, and Golden here. Or Thousand Wins here, depending if I play Druid a lot this year. Anyways, uh, with all that being said, though, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, rep the gang, and I'll see you guys in the next one where hopefully... Um, hopefully we, I don't know, hit Diamond 2? That would be fucking dope. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.